Guess who's back? Back again. Katie's back. Back my friend. Nah, it still don't work. Fuck it. All right, before I get the video started, I just want to give a big shout out to my service advisor, Richard Kahn, at Edmore Sawgrass Cadillac, and Vanya, because Vanya's trying to work me. She's trying to get me in that goddamn XT6 they loaned me. It's a pretty fucking truck. But listen, if you need service on your GM car and you want to deal with a dealer, those are the folks to go see, all right? I'll link them up down below. Tell them Vinny Cuz sent you. No, there's no referral or none of that. I just, uh, when I find good service, I like to be there. And if I'm going to deal with a dealer, those are the folks I want to deal with. And while I'm at it, since I'm giving shout outs, I want to give a shout out to another up and comer like myself, uh, the Rideshare Culture, Ron. Now, his content's a little bit different than uh, what I try to do. And because we're both pretty new at this, you know, it's raw. It's raw, it's real, it's authentic can't get any better than that that young man does a lot of xl and x uh in pool so if uh those are your platforms you want to check him out i got a phone call coming in i'll be right back finally got something to talk about with lyft got an email the other day stating that lyft will now require require sensitivity training for all of its drivers and if you do not complete the six video, approximately 20 minutes worth of video, if you do not complete the course by December 15th, you will no longer be allowed to drive for Lyft. That's some employee shit there, ain't it? Now, I got to be honest. I don't really have a problem with this. I think it's good. My issue comes in later on in the email, it says, and eventually... Riders will have to comply with the terms of service. So, drivers got to go through it. Drivers got to put out their, all their information, complete the sensitivity course, uh, put up their picture. But yet, riders still can be whatever name they want to be without a picture. And they're not required for sensitivity training. I mean, I get it, but I don't get it. Lyft, you kind of got this one halfway right. Uber, you're moving the goalpost again. I don't understand it. Well, kind of maybe I do. So, if you subscribe to the whole Uber Pro uh, program, and there are some couple, well, maybe one or two good benefits. Listen, you know that it took 300 points in a quarter to unlock the next level. And if you got 600, the next level, and yada, yada, yada. Well, yesterday we got emails that they were increasing the opportunity for you, at least in our market, Miami market, to gain extra points. What do I mean? Do you know how you get those three ride bonuses? As long as you work in the certain areas, you can start there, do three rides, get the six, seven, eight bucks, whatever it is. Well, now, if you're in those areas, during certain times, each ride, you can gain five points. Bonus, right? Ain't nothing wrong with that. But just now I got an email. My quarterly Uber points update. Yeah, they moved the goalpost. Now it's 400 points to unlock each uh, level. I tell you, always moving the goalposts. Uber, come on. Make up your mind already. Let drivers know what they got to do. Quit moving the goalposts. Now, Uber. Again, I got to say, this is only in my market. And actually, it's only at one airport where we've seen it. We now have, in the airport queues, uh, full, full statuses. And I got a picture. I'll post it here. And basically, what it's saying is it's putting a cap on the amount of vehicles that can go into the Uber queue to wait. At least that's what we think. Because you can have 200 Uber X cars there and it's not full, but 15 Lux SUV cars there and it's full. 
Sounds like a cap to me. Now, you might say, why is Uber doing that? Why? Because instead of you waiting in the airport for however long it takes, two, three, four hours, whatever, they'd rather have you on the road. And if you're on the road, you're more available. And even though you're on the road and you're more available and you're burning gas and wasting time because you're not guaranteed a ride for burning gas and wasting time, you're there instead of in the airport. A couple of guys that ran through the airport on certain platforms and it tells them, Q full. I don't know, Uber. I get it, but I don't get it. Now, something positive. Uber Premier in our market, can't speak for any other markets, I love Uber Premier is surging with X and XL. And if you want to, if you've got however many platforms you're available to, when you turn the lower platforms off, so say you're Uber XL, Uber X, and Premier. You turn off X, you turn off XL, guess what? You keep your flat surge. Bonus. Now, something negative about Premier. You go into the airport queues, there's no... Premier, it doesn't show up. It shows up, you know, X, XL, Lux, Lux SUV. But I've got it from a little birdie. I'm not going to name my birdie. My birdie's pretty cool. But I got it from a little birdie that he heard it from the hub through the grapevine, even though he wasn't supposed to hear it. After the first of the year, Lux and Lux SUV will be gone. So, half my tinfoil hat says I thought they were going to bring Lux Black down here. And they still might. We don't know. But, after the first of the year, if you're not qualified for Premier, and you've got Lux and Lux SUV, you're going to be gone. And that's unfortunate. Because, there's no Premier qualifi qualifying list, requirement list, on the website. So, unless you've been notified, unfortunately, you're going to get the bump. Now, should we take that to the bank saying January 1st? Lux and Lux SUV is gone? No. We don't know until we see it. And as you can tell, in two days, they completely revamped the whole Uber Pro program. I don't know, guys. Ladies. Be ready to adjust. And now, last but not least, my Miami Dolphins. You know, my previous videos, it was Tank for Tua, Tank for Tua. But I'm having a little bit of a change of heart. The last two games... Well, if you count the Dallas game, too. Them Dolphins, they've been putting up a fight. Now, they can't get it together in the second half. And we don't know if they're just, you know, wearing out or if the other team's making the right adjustments. We don't know. Maybe the coaching staff is pulling. Uh, they got a first half. Let's see how good they are. And then the second half goes in the tank for Tua. But we're 0-7. In the last two games, they could have won. Now we got the Jets this week. And I fucking hate the Jets. Gary V, Vaynerchuk, I know you're a Jets fan. Fuck the Jets. I say the Dolphins get their first win of the season this week. Go Fins. And I'll talk to you folks next week. Peace out.